So today I'm going to be testing for a head gasket issue. Um, I'm going to be using this little test here, the CS engine test. Um, what this test comes with is, is I have these two packets here and never mind that something else, but I have these here. And these are the instructions here, images there, and written words there. But basically, I'm going to run this test and hope that it comes back yellow. Um, as you can see, the different colors here, um, each one is worse. So it would be yellow, then orange, dark orange, red, and then finally pink, which basically means that your car is garbage which I hope does not happen. Um, let me go out to the car here. So basically what tipped me off is I was losing engine coolant without any visible leak. And then I had a misfire the other day um, and the engine light went on. And then moments later it actually shut off by itself. Um, I looked at the oil here and it looks good. It needs to be changed, but I mean, it's not milky or frothy or anything like that. It otherwise looks normal. Um, and also there was, uh, more white smoke coming out of the exhaust. Um, it wasn't totally white and it is a bit chilly out. But it looked whiter than I think it should. So I think that was enough to make me want to test the uh, head gasket. And well, basically this is this car here is probably worth about $3,000 without a head gasket issue. And if there is a head gasket issue, I probably have to pay someone else to take it. So I'm hoping I'm hoping I get the yellow. So we're going to need one of these little packets here. And open it up. You can see this little guy here. Um, as you can see, it's yellow now. Which hopefully it ends up yellow. But basically, all you need to do... Let me this camera real quick. Is that we're going to want to... Take off the, the radiator cap. If I can. Oh, of course. And before I start it, I gotta stick this in here. Like so. And then leave this little plastic strip hanging out and then I would I can't do this with one hand but as you can see I'll stick that in there so that I can still pull that out when it's finished and basically what I want to do is, is I want to uh, run the car until it warms up uh, and then drive for about 10 minutes then I'm gonna let it cool and then I will take it out and hopefully it's still yellow. And I'm going to go do that right now. So here's my temperature gauge. And I just want to make sure it gets to halfway before I pull it out. And hopefully it's still yellow. I've been driving around for almost exactly uh, 10 minutes here um, and my car started to overheat so I turned the heater up all the way and I managed to get it back to uh, what I would consider normal 
Um, I did make sure I had um, coolant in there before I drove and it still was heating up. So uh, we're gonna see what that means in just a moment. Okay, so uh, it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, I've been letting this cool. Um, I got a little distracted. I don't think you need to wait that long. But let's, let's get our big reveal here and see what color this is. I'm trying not to rip it, so I'm doing it slowly. it that's not good news it actually looks quite red actually oh, there you have it da, da, da. it's very close to that well, it's somewhere in between these two I think I do have it upside down. Very close to these two. I think closer to this. And that says. If I can focus on that. It says it's a high level leak. That's not good. Well. So the results are definitely not what I was hoping for, but I think that tells me that it is working, that this test kit works. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. Um, I know a lot of these videos I do are rushed. I plan on working them out a little better in the future. Uh, till then, Looks like I'm in the market for a new car. Thank you for watching.